MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. It's game six of the National League Championship Series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskirjian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak. And Dan, obviously, a lot of things still up in the air as we get ready for game six. Yeah, you see the results through the first five games. It's been everything we could have hoped for. And now, at three games to two, you've got a team coming in here that needs to win the final two games on the road to take the series. Going to be a tall order to fill, but I think they're as capable as anyone to pulling it off. All right, the stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. Zach Grinke will do the pitching with a trip to the World Series on the table. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, he wasn't all that bad in his last one pitching into the sixth inning to pick up the win. We'll see if he can go a little bit deeper in this one. Here's Bryce Harper now, and we are set for baseball here this evening. For Philadelphia, the right fielder, Bryce Harper. Here's the first pitch now from Greinke. Down the third baseline. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Time now for a glance at the Phillies batting order in this one. Dero, how do they fight off elimination here on the road? Matt, you take a look at this lineup. I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be win day. When you get in the car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressure's on the big boy to have to execute, and usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score. Manufacture runs early in this one. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. And set up behind the dish is Eric Summersgill as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. You know what, Dan? I'm always baffled when Eric Summersgill's behind the dish because he has a tendency to favor one side of the plate. You know, that's one of the things I think pitchers get a little bit frustrated with the E train at time. It's like, hey, if you're going to give me that inside board, give it to me, but don't keep moving the dish around on me all game. Flip from short right gets him, and there are two away. Here's the first pitch. Bryson Stott is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Here comes the one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Phillies down in order. Now the Pirates will get their first opportunity. No score. David Parkinson is charged with keeping their hopes alive on the mound here in the league championship series. What do you have for us on him Danny. Well I'll tell you starting pitchers go he's one of the best around. He's really found what works for him and he's had a lot of success because of it. I think he expects to go out there and dominate every game he starts and he usually does. 
no one should be surprised if he turns in a really solid start here. Avery Lynch is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning 1 and 0. Now the pitch. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Misses ball two. Bounce to first. Hoskins has it. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now a moment here at PNC to take a look at the Pirates lineup card in this one. Mark, how do they go about winning a National League pennant here at home? Matty, I know I'm stating the obvious, but the middle of the order has to come through today. You got guys that are playing way above their pay grade on the periphery, and it's time for them to look and see the big boys do their job. Into the box, Freddie Aaron, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. Into the box now, Brett Santos. Pitch misses low. The throw down is in time as he gets the tag down, and he's out trying to take third. Change up low, 2 and 0. Oh. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3 and 0. Oh. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Oh. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. This is lifted into the air out towards center field. Harper on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up Alec Bohm. First pitch on its way. A one pitch on its way. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. And it's fouled away. Now another one two. Hard hit ball to second. Fielded cleanly on the first, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is it. The catcher, JT Realmuto. Now one down with the bases empty, and that brings up JT Realmuto. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, that's a heck of a pitch right there. If, he did, if he's able to execute with that type of velocity, fastballs up and in, I can't imagine. Not only is he going to break a ton of bats today, but he's going to open up that down and away with the soft stuff later in the game. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. 
most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Now the 2 1 pitch. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Well, it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher and a fastball misses their ball four that is it. The designated hitter. and in steps Scott Kingery career line against Greinke he's one for four. Granky comes set. Here's the first pitch. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. The 0 1. Don't know what he's waiting for there. It's 0 and 2. Real Muto, base runner at first with one out. Oh, a two pitch is a curveball that misses one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 oh and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Here's a look over to first. Here comes the one two he is swung on and missed strike three and with two away here's a look at our updated playoff brackets and the question on everyone's mind is will we be able to punch our first ticket to the World Series after tonight's ball game. So it's a runner at first with two gone. That'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop and perennial MVP candidate Francisco Lindor. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now the 1 0. Misses ball two. If you're going to have any chance against a good pitcher, you got to find yourself in some great counts and he certainly worked himself into a nice 2 0 count right here. No score here as we play inning number two. And a good comeback fastball there it's two balls and a strike. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Philly shortstop in front of the count three and one. If you're at the plate right now you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And he drops a change in on him there and that'll run it full three and two. Three two two out runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch on the ground to the left side. And that's through for a hit. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold thanks to first and second here. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. One and oh, the count. Two down, runners at first and second. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base.
three and oh now. He's really going to need to keep the walks down in this start. He's in danger of walking the second guy in two innings here. Three oh here it is. Good fastball down around the knees there taken for a strike. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended do you think. Yeah I think that's the idea Matt but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. And that's outside he lost him ball four. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes and history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now career line against Greinke carries a 414 batting average also of note the four home runs he's hit against him from the stretch. Here's the pitch as Greinke jumps ahead of him here with strike one. After the walk and with runners on the bags he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. One and one to Andrew McCutcheon. Man 35 pitches with only two outs in the second inning. Ideally you'd like to have 30 or less after two innings so he's got some catching up to do. One and one. Here it is. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. These are the moments right here. You got a good pitcher on the mound. You don't know if these opportunities are going to present themselves throughout the course of the game. You have to capitalize in this situation. And the 29th pitch of the inning is swung on and missed, and that'll finally end it. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. More from Game 6 after this message and a word from our local stations. Just like Vegas in the sound, it will quit until I'm done. No, I'm having fun. Go on. Last half of the second set to go, and set to go is the second baseman, Sean Costello. First delivery to him. Turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout. Keep that guy off the base path. To the plate now Kyle Schwarber as the first pitch here's a bit high it's ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Bottom of the second here with no score. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Whoa, he was swinging out of his shoes on that changeup. Must have looked real good coming in, but a different story once it got near the plate. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking stop. ball out of the pitcher's Andrew. hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. So now to the plate, Andrew Beck told. Hit back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. The tag and they'll get him at second and with that the side is retired. 
One, two, three, go the Pirates. We'll move to the third with no score. Yeah. Who that in the whip? Yeah, you know this me. Yeah. You can't stop my shine. I'm just... Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Second appearance here. He grounded out to start the ball game. Chuono now. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Two and one to count. Slider misses and he's in danger of losing him here. Three and one. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Full count, here it comes. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. It's a grinder A-B. 3-2 changeup, and he's able to stay back and drive it for a base hit. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat. Stepping in now, number six. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And that one is gone. So a two run shot to left center his second home run of the series as the Phillies have taken a two to nothing lead. Well people always wonder why some players make so much money and there's your answer the great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason and he did right there. Plate now, Bryson Stott. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. This one is smashed down the right field line. That's going to stay fair, and it's going to be back to back home runs. A solo shot down the line in right, and the Phillies open up a three to nothing lead. Well, in just a little more than two innings of work, he's given up two homers. Could be just one of those games for him. We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter at the moment. That brings up Alec Bohm, swinging a shot toward right center. And he will reach down to get it as a stumbling play that time is nevertheless good for the first out. So one gone here in the Philadelphia third and in steps the catcher JT Real Muto. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher try to stand those hitters up. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Real Muto is undoubtedly one of the best hitters in the sport, and it doesn't matter right handed or left handed pitching, he's one of the elite threats with a bat in his hands. Yeah, barrel awareness, Matty. This guy has it. I don't think it's something that could be taught. I don't care how many hours you put in the cage, this guy has the ability to put barrel on baseball consistently, no matter what side it's coming from. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. Three runs already home here. Out. 
outside in a full count three and two. Well you don't see it all that often but this might be a good time for a three two change if he can locate it it's nearly impossible to hit. Now the payoff pitch home is a wave and a miss he struck him out. Next it'll be Scott Kingery 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. He gets dirty but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. The throw into second. The tag and he is out at second. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Phillies lead it three to nothing. The batter will be William Contreras. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The wind up and the 0 1. Whoa, that's Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. With that, the Buckos have their leadoff man aboard to kick off the inning. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. From the stretch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Contreras aboard here at first with nobody out. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. And prior to the first pitch, you look to first. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Standing in now, Connor Scott fouled off. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And oh, this one's by him to the backstop. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. I think this all stems from the fact that they're trying to make sure the guy at the plate doesn't hurt them at all. And with that base open at first, they might opt to just put him on. The set and the 1 1 pitch. And he popped him up. Hoskins trying to get there. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Working for the punch out and the offering. 
Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box, Avery Lynch. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the 0 1. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Fouled away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he fouls this one off. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Good change up in the dirt. Strike three. And the throw to first ends the inning. One hit, one left. We're 3-3 three, three here in game number six. It's the Phillies three and the Pirates nothing. And welcome back to Pittsburgh as we check in on the field with Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Joe Girardi during the commercial break about the Phillies offense. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. All set for the start of the fourth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. For me, this is an important add-on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it. But keeping the pressure on, building that lead, that's how you bury someone. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder. And they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Grounded up the first baseline. Reined in. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. No balls and a strike to count. Granky gets the sign. 0 1 pitch on its way. Back up the middle. He's right there. Throw on to first is in time, and Granky's got himself two outs. Two are gone in the Philly fourth, and that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Here's the first pitch now from Granke. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Behind 0-2 now. Try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Ready to go 
in the bottom of the fourth. And set to go is the third baseman, Freddie Aaron. First delivery to him. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Sent out to straightaway center field. Number six is there, and he has it for the out. Up next, Brett Santos. He flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Owen won the count. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Skied into straightaway right. Harper is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Now batting, second baseman. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Sean Costello, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Pirates. Still down 3-0. Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. One for two on his line so far in the game. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. A ball and a strike to the Phillies leadoff man. Just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And obviously, this guy's a double threat up there. He can run and he can go yard too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. First pitch on its way. Number six is next as he finds himself behind 0 and 1. Good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. Harper gets his lead at first. Nobody out. 
Runners on the move for second. A pitch out. The throw. And boy, even a pitch out can't slow him down. He's in there at second base. Well, that stolen base was about as bang bang as they come. And as show track demonstrates to us right here, it was his top speed that really made all the difference. He's definitely got wheels, and they were on display there. The 1 1. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Now the 2 1. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor 3 and 1. The 3 and 1 pitch. And it's fouled away. And this pitch misses here as well. Back to back walks now, but at least that'll put the force back in order here. When a guy homers off you early in the game, the last thing you want to do is challenge him and maybe have him do it again. He was a lot more careful with him there. Now here comes Ron Washington out of the dugout and on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a change here as that's going to be all tonight for Zach Greinke. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start. That's for sure. Angel Rondon comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Jason Stott will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. Goes to show you how strong this guy is. That wasn't a bad breaking ball that he hit for a home run and it lasted at bat. That ball was down in a way. He went out and hooked it and pulled it. This guy's definitely a good hitter. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. A ball and two strikes now. Three runs, five hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. You know, Dero, sometimes one of your best friends are your own teammates right there. Good hustle from first base to beat that throw to second. And guess what? He bought his battery, made a knock. Yeah, he definitely bought him a knock. You know what else he's going to buy him? He's going to buy him dinner on the road at some point because that's some significant hustle right there. It was a nice play. The internal clock of the defender thought he still had a chance at second. Wasn't meant to be. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Oh one, here's the pitch. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Bases loaded here, nobody out. Fouled off. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. JT Real Muto waits on deck. The 3-2 pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. 
I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to chase. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. Into the box now, JT Real Muto. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Real Muto has just over 1,000 base hits in his career to this point. Comes set and the 0 1. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Hot shot to third. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. We've got more. It's game six, and we're back after this. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked with Pittsburgh's manager during the inning break about the Pirates' offensive production to this point. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. One and one to Schwarber. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Here comes the one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, you could tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking now full advantage of that. Stop. He's pounding the zone and with three. strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings Four. and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. In now, Andrew Bechtold. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He was cut down at second attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. Fouled away. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Sent on the ground out to second. And there's out number two. Now got Base is empty two away, and that brings up William Contreras. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Two out, nobody on. Now here's one high and deep to left. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So a solo shot down the line in left, and the Pirates have struck for a run. It's now a 3-1 to one game.
well. They're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Here's Michael Brantley. The left fielder, Michael. Strike one Brantley. to start the at bat. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now here's the pitch. Down and away, ball one. Hey, a two out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate, even though it's early on. You got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Outside, two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. A 3 1 count to the left fielder of the Bucks. A 3 1 count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Inside, he misses ball four. Now batting. Right fielder, Connor. Stepping in next, Connor Scott. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Skied in the air to straightaway left. McCutcheon is under it. And that ends the inning. You gotta be happy. Keep Bucks baby. draw a bit closer That's on this solo home run. Baby. Five innings complete. It's the Phillies three and the Pirates one. And now here is Scott Kingery. He'll lead things off here in the Philadelphia sixth. First pitch on its way. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump, but this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Looked like he went around that time. They'll appeal down to third, and yes, sir, it's strike one. Away the 0 1 pitch. 1 and 1. A couple of lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. like the fastball got away from him there no pitcher likes to take the count to three and two especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on two and two that one wasn't even close to short hit hard that's through for a base hit his second of the ball game. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That was a 96 mile an hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off speed. At the plate, Reese Hoskins. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one.
Here it comes, 1 and 0. Oh. And this one's over for a high strike, 1 and 1. They teach pitchers to keep the ball down, but if you can locate upstairs like that, it really gives you the ability to mess with the eye level of the batter. That nibbled the corner there, but missed 2 and 1. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. Kingery on second. Lindor on at first with nobody out. And he fouls this one off. Two two here it is. A bouncer up the middle. Ah, way to get dirty. There's one on to first and they get the double play. Just like they drew it up. A great dive and stop to get the double play started and then a perfect flip from his belly. Add this one to the highlight reel. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Ball two now. A couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitters count. 2-0 well count the pitch is swung on missed in that strike one. Hey this pitch better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. High and deep down the left field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Hey, what a job right here to put yourself in position to get out of this one after giving up back to back singles to the first two battles. Seared down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Philly strand one, and it's still three to one. Here's the first pitch to him. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Into right field, that's a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the sixth. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. And now, Freddie Aaron, leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. First pitch on its way. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. Now a throw over to first. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably there's a fastball coming. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. And it's fouled away. Oh. 
takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Throw over to first, and he's back standing. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. One there. On to first, and they get them both. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. So next to hit is Brett Santos. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. First offering. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. We're on to the seventh here in game six. Phillies on top, three to one. Todd Javeri is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Bryce Harper a hit in two tries so far. Here's the first pitch to him. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot but he doesn't get the call. One and oh. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Number six will stride in. First, we take it back to the third as you take another look here at this two run homer that had him rolling early on. Pitch is a sinker for a called strike one. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0 0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's 1 and 1. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. So now to the plate, Bryson Stott. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's two for three and looking for more here. A wind up and the 0 1. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Phillies down in order as the lead remains three to one. So here's the cleanup hitter, Sean Costello, due up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Oh. 
On its way is pitch number 75. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot, time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tied run to the plate. Three and one. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. To the plate now, Kyle Schwarber, as he will look at a first-pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ball and a strike. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Fouled off. Here's another 2 2. The bouncer to the left side. Throw on the first will get him. Score at 5 3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6 to 3 ground ball. Now Nevertheless, there are two away now. Up next for the Buckos, Andrew Bechtold. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch on the way. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. You see there, the pitch count is up to 88. And at this point in the game, that's a good place to be. So I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Not a bad spot to miss right there. Much rather have it run inside than out over the plate where the hitter can do a lot of damage. 3-1 the count to the Pirates shortstop. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Fouled away. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Score holds. It's three to one. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Alec First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a miss that time, it's 0-1. Oh, this is what you get fired up for right here. Hard fastball against a power hitter. I know he was late right there, but if he comes back, this one might not come back. Stays alive, still 0-2.
And he looks at a ball one and two. Now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. And he fouls this one off. Ah, uh, got him swinging on the split finger pitch, and that's out number one. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. Stepping in now, JT Real Muto. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. I try and tell people all the time. You're facing 90 to 92, 94. You can still see seams. It starts getting above 94. It starts to blur itself a little bit. You start pitching where this guy's at, you're seeing nothing. You're seeing vapor. Nope. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Scott Kingery. Last time through was a base hit. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. As he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. Scott gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, and it's still three to one. Digging in will be William Contreras. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, That He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Outfield in the no doubles defense, now the first pitch. The 1 0. Two balls and a strike. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Now the 2 1 pitch. A shot down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. He'll get it into second. And he's going to make it there. Barely, as he's into second base with a double. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. Definitely, Matt. He's been throwing it by guys the entire game. But that leads to some high pitch counts. And that's the case here. After that hit, you have to wonder if he's starting to get a little bit fatigued. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left aboard, but he cannot lose this one. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen.
Michael Brantley will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be doing so with the runner in scoring position and still nobody out. From the belt, the pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Right side, but it's well foul. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. No contact there, and it's one and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Grounded back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And that'll plate the run from second as the lead shrinks to one at 3-2 now. Now back. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Standing in now Connor Scott. This will take a breaking ball then off the plate for ball one. No hits to this point. Pitch inside the throw he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Two and zero oh count. Here it comes. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Just a tick behind for a strike. A runner at second, nobody out. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. So the Pirates batting order turns over and set to go. Avery Lynch, a base knock to the outfield, could score the tying run from second. First pitch of the A.B. now as he gets a good curveball here to start the at bat it's strike one. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. A one one count to the Pirates leadoff hitter. Come set, now the pitch. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Now the 2 1 pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. in there for a base hit. The throw home. Oh, and the tag will get him at the plate as the potential tying run is cut down trying to score. Well, this is going to be one of those plays to look back on and talk about when this one's over, boys, especially if they end up losing. I can't blame them for trying to tie it up, but losing that runner at third base has got to stand. In now, Freddie Aaron, as he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And he won't bite a 
at that point either. It's 2-0. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Now the 2-0 home. If he concedes the walk here, he's in real trouble of giving up a big inning. It's not all that bad yet, but dealing with the bases loaded will make it pretty tough to wiggle out of. And he finally gets a sinker over here for a called strike one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. And it's fouled away. One out with the possible tying and go ahead runs on base here. Fouled off. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. And that's through into right field for a base hit. Throw comes in quickly now, so that tying run will be forced to hold on at third here, still with only one away. Archie Bradley is called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. So the next to bat will be Brett Santos. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. the stretch as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 hey it's nearly impossible to turn two with a guy that could run like this it's even harder when he comes out of the box hitting from the left side you really need something tailor made to even have a chance to get him at first behind 0 and 2 now Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? To second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. They couldn't turn the inning ending double play. They just get the force out at second, and the runner scores from third. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Sean Costello. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Runners at the corners, two men out. Into the corner and slicing foul. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. A one-two pitch. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. He's set the 3 2. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw on to first. And a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. Game six is on to the ninth inning now. And we are all tied at three apiece. Tony Kemp is into the ball game now as he'll take over out in left field. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers, 
to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. The wind up and the 0 1. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to 1 and 1. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1 and 2 now. Not much you can do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Still one and two. Got to believe that was a mislocation because it missed right down the middle. This guy's going to have nightmares at the plate thinking about missing that one. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Reese Hoskins is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Orlando Marquez is forced onto the mound now following the injury. up here comes the 1 0 fastball and that thing's a blur up there folks one and one that nibbled the corner there but missed two and one all even now two and two one out nobody on Hit down the third baseline. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. So next to bat will be Andrew McCutcheon. Grounded out in his last at bat. Now here's the first offering. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Oh, one pitch coming. Hits this one hard the other way. And there's his first base hit in this one. So Bryce Harper will get a chance to hit here this inning following the base hit. The right Boy, just when you're looking for one of those shutdown innings, you get two quick outs, D roll, then you give up a two out base hit to extend the inning. Yeah, you show me a, a big league ball player that's going to give away an AB. No chance. Everybody's in there grinding every at bat, every plate appearance. Nice job. Maybe a little two out lightning start. Into the box now, Bryce Harper. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. There are two gone and the possible go ahead run at first. Before the delivery a check on that go ahead run at first and a dive but he's back. Now a good pitch around the knees but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. The set and the 2 and 0. Nasty 2 0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Now the 2 1. A good movement bearing in. It's two balls and two strikes. 
when I broke into the league not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it the game has changed here's the two and two and he strikes him out on a good pitch so one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning one left for Philadelphia still tied three to three. Roman Quinn will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH Kyle Schwarber. He grounded out last time up. First pitch on its way as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and zero. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. Knuckle curve and a beauty two and one now. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The 2 1 home. Swung on and missed, and that's strike two. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Grounder down the line at third. And he is going to have extra bases to start it out. And your winning run will be in scoring position. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. And it looked like the pitcher was trying to get him to go fishing in a pitch out of the strike zone. He went for it all right, but he managed to catch all of that baseball, placing it for a double in the outfield. That's a great piece of hitting. Now time is called, and with the potential winning run out there at second, they'll get a little more speed out there to perhaps score on a base hit. At the plate now, Andrew Bechtold, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. Question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Well, he's hoping to be a hero and drive in the winning run, but that swing tells me he's a little too amped up. You don't chase a pitch that badly if you're playing within yourself. And that misses two and two. A possible winning run on second. No one out. Two two pitches fouled away. Ready with another two strike offering. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. He loses him on ball four. Now batting, catcher. Next up is William Contreras, and it looks like this could be a critical at-bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet, so this could be a fun at-bat to watch.
Here's the first pitch. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Now the 0 2 pitch. A possible winning run on second. No one out. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper coming on. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now bad. Chance to walk it off, and now here is Tony Kemp. A winning run stands at second base. Here's the first pitch. This is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Off speed pitch and it stays outside. Ball three. Connor Scott is on deck. That one's in there. Three and one. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Ball four, and that will move the winning run over to third base now, just 90 feet away. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news, a single probably drives in a couple of runs. Sir Anthony Dominguez is called upon to get the final two outs of the ninth and send this one into extra innings. Into the box, Connor Scott. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. The 0 1. And it hit him. My goodness, it hit him, and this series is over. Well, they've taken care of business all season long, and tonight was no exception. They've proven to be the best team in the National League. Now it's time to see if they can become the best in the entire game. Celebrate tonight, and the World Series is next. Congrats to the NL champs. runs put on the board in this one but here's a guy that found a way to make a difference he's the tops player of the game yeah no question he was a tough out up there ended up collecting three knocks including a home run so without him on the lineup I think this might have been a different story for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak and our excellent crew this is Matt Vaskersian saying so long you've been watching the National League Championship Series Our final line score tonight for the victory.